Hey guys, Matt here from Epic Soccer Training. Uh, I want to teach you a video that a couple of you guys were asking for, and that's how to do a soccer throw in. Okay, guys, I want to take you through the basics of how to do a soccer throw in, teach you kind of, you know, what you can do, what you can't do, uh, so you can get out there and, and uh, start doing it correctly. So, again, uh, what we want to do is start out balls in hand. Um, let's just pretend that this is the sideline over here. Um, what you want to do is uh, when you first start out and you're playing rack or you're playing beginner uh, soccer, what you're going to want to do is put your feet behind the line. Your heels have to be on the ground, so you can't, um, I'm sorry, you can, you can leave, you, you can move your heels up, you can't lift your feet at all. Um, so you can't, you can't hop or anything like that, or you can't throw the ball <laughs> like, like that. I hope nobody does that, that would be ridiculous. Um, so again, a lot of times, and you know, professionals as well, they usually have, you know, they don't really care, you know. So again, just ball has to be behind the neck and it has to be released in front, okay? So you can't, you can't actually, bless you, Chaz. Um, you can't actually have the ball like this and just kind of throw it forward. It actually has to be all the way behind, behind your neck. So, um, you know, this is, this is an easy one to practice and you really shouldn't even have to practice this more than like five times. But again, so just feet planted, you know, arch your back because you're going to want to get power. A good way that I like holding the ball is actually, it's similar to a goalkeeper because I had to, I had to teach goalkeepers how to play a lot. I'm going to do a video for you goalkeepers as well. Um, it's to make a W. Um, so what you want to do, that's what, what's going to get the most surface area. Really cock back, boom, you know, and release it forward. Um, then when you're done doing that, uh, you're going to probably learn to do where you actually step and go forward and then drag your foot. Um, so again, when I'm talking about you can't lift up your foot, um, actually, Chaz, can you hop over here for a second? If, uh, if this is a sideline, ignore the goal, and you're coming through like this, you have to put your foot behind the line, and then you're going to want to throw, and then usually you'll drag your foot because you're going to be getting, the reason you do that is you, is you get momentum. So, you know, you're going to do a little hop, and then drag your foot, and then you're, you're off. And that's something you're going to learn in soccer too, is, is your first step should always be moving. When you pass, your first step should be moving. It's the same with the throw-on. Um, again, what I like to actually do is uh, to get even more power is I do this, I do kind of like this hop where, you know, I'm running and I'm hopping to get more power. Um, so again, and the reason to do that is it's just kind of, it's kind of torquing your body into momentum. So, but when you first start out, you might want to just, you know, run up to the line, throw it, and then drag your foot. One thing that you need to learn that I can't stand when people don't do this is if you're taking, if, you, if you're Chaz right now, where do you want the ball? Where, where would you want the ball? At your feet. So don't sit there and throw the ball just anywhere at them, okay? A lot of people don't have the wherewithal to be able to trap and bring it down really quickly. And even if they trap it and bring it down quickly, um, you're wasting time and then a defender is going to be on them. So, you know, maybe throw in like a quick fake, which will move the defender over and then boom, right at Chaz's foot. See how quickly it is? He can, he can trap that very quickly. Um, so again, um, that's something that you can do as well. So I want to teach you uh, the basics of how to do a throw in in soccer again. Keep your back leg down. Make sure that you're, if you're moving it forward, you're dragging it. Um, and you're not lifting it up, you're going to get called for that unless you're playing professional and you could probably just jump in there and throw it because they don't really care anyways. Um, but yeah, so that's the basics. Um, so comment, like, subscribe, do all that, let me know. Um, also, I'm going to be filming a video for those of you that are in the Epic Soccer Training members area, the guys that got the course, which you can check that out too of how I went to, uh, from playing just average, being an average player to being a game-changing All-American and professional player as well. I'm going to do my favorite trick throwing for you guys. Um, it's, it's so awesome. I love it, especially if you're a game-changing player and you actually want to get the ball at your feet. It's a really cool trick that you can do. It's legal. Um, so uh, I'll show you guys that as well. So thanks for checking out how to do a soccer throw-in, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.